quick with Becca and Nick. Woo! Woo! What were you, Pooh Bear? Like, gulping back the honey? Like, gulp, 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 gulp. There's a rumbly in my tumbly. Good afternoon or good morning or something. <laughs> it's 8.30 here. <laughs> so, today we want to talk about music. Surprise, we actually have a method for today, a theme. It's something we both care a lot about. So. 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 Um. We like to make music. Perform it in front of people. But we also like to listen to music. More so, I would say. Maybe. Perhaps. So we thought we would share some of our music listening past and present. What is a band you listen to a lot as a kid? Um, as a kid, a lot of gospel. I listened to a lot of folk music from my mom, like Peter, Paul, and Mary, and a lot of like Broadway, Rodgers, and Hammerstein. That was my childhood. But then when I was a little bit more, like in high school, I listened to Reliant K a lot. What about you? I don't know. I listened to a lot of my dad's country music. Oh boy, there were some winners in there. We listened to a lot of ska, Christian rock and roll. And then when I got closer to 20, I found all the bands that the Christian rock and roll groups were trying to sound like. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> even more rock and roll. What band or singer would you say defines Nick? Five Iron Frenzy. Final answer. They've got the serious stuff and the goofy stuff. Like all of it's like really well written and you can tell the musicians by their parts. If you don't know who they are, change your life. What about you? This will come as no surprise to people who know me, but I would say Regina Spector. <gasps> I know! <laughs> that is a surprise to me! I'm married to you! Regina Spector was shared with me when I was about 12 or 13, way before most of the world started listening to her. I know I'm such a hipster. But I immediately loved everything that she was doing. I mean, here but was a chick that didn't just write pretty songs on piano and sing them and like make pop songs and stuff. Her music was complex. There were weird sounds and weird noises and she wasn't afraid to rock out. And she wasn't afraid to be weird and eclectic. And she championed the piano as an instrument for me and it changed my life. What would you say is a guilty pleasure song for you? Story of my life, One Direction. It's a good song. And you... I was pissed off when I found out it was One Direction. Because I heard it on the radio and I was like, oh yeah. And I was like, no! You stole mine. Liar. <laughs> you know all the words to Kobe Calais. <laughs> That's not a love thing. That's a hatred of Home Depot thing. They played Colby Calais and um, Michael Buble. It's really disturbing when a Colby Calais song will come on the radio and I just look over and he's mouthing all the words. <laughs> it's awful. If you had one recommendation for people to go out and listen to this right now, what would you say? Five Iron Frenzy, final answer. No. <laughs> I recently just rediscovered um, Mars Ill. It's a rap duo. A lot of people are like, rap, gross, but they're very good. I recently discovered the beauty of A Great Big World, and it's really like a bunch of dorks who should have written a Broadway show, instead wrote a piano rock album, and it's quite good. We'll let you guys go listen to that. We're going to clink our coffee cups and get on with our days. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Every time. <laughs>